Hey everybody. everybody, welcome back to our Peace of Mind. My name is Omar, aka Venomar, and this is Kason, aka Checha. All right, guys, so today we're back for another unboxing of Man Bat. Man Bat is another big uh, figure that is part of the McFarlane toys, uh, the DC multiverse, and this baby is huge. I mean, huge. Look at it. I did the unboxing for Killer Croc maybe like about a week or two ago, but this one looks to be bigger. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but to me, he looks huge. What do you think, Kason? Yeah, he's a he's a beast. He's a monster. He's just like a big, beefy, bulky monster. Yeah, he's definitely. Big. Now, he is, um, unlike Killer Croc, he's not from the video games. This version, it's actually from the comic books, from what I know. Um, he's from the DC Rebirth, and it's kind of like a reimagining of... Um, of Man Bat. He's had many different um, looks throughout the years, but this is one of my favorites because he just looks, he looks pretty um, menacing. He has um, like that look to him that he looks dangerous. I love these these figures because they, to me, they're kind of like statues. You could actually pose them differently. They have, uh, most of them have about 20 something points of articulation. This one has 22. This guy is awesome. I mean, I haven't unboxed it yet, but I could imagine. Right now, when we do, that is gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. So, uh, we're gonna start in a minute. Jason, do you have anything to say? Um, no, but I do have a question. What is the backstory of Man Bat, and what, like, what's his deal? I don't know his full story. I know that, I think he was a scientist, just like most <laughs> backstories. He was a scientist, and he experimented on something, and it went wrong, and he turned into this Man Bat. Um, that's why he's wearing jeans, guys. Hello. Any bad guy that wears jeans is obviously yep. a scientist. Scientist or, or some kind of experiment gone wrong. So, um, yes, I don't know much about his background. All right, guys, so we're going to move on, and we're going to start unboxing this baby. Here we, we go. All McFarlane toys so far that I've opened have a trading card inside them. Pokemon. Yeah, I guess you gotta catch them all, right? And the little base, like I said in my Croc video, I wish they had more accessories, hands and, heads. and different heads or, or you know, weapons or I don't know, cape or something. That's a bummer, but I mean, it's still you're getting a, a pretty badass figure. Well, the, the I guess it's pretty cool though. Yeah, the picture's pretty cool. cool. I love the detail that they put in these boxes though. It's so well made. Yeah, they do. Um, they do have a lot of detail in the boxes, and that's really something I appreciate. Wow. Do the honors. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulty. And there he is, Man Bat. Now look at that. Look at the size of Man Bat versus the size of my head. Pretty much the whole size of my head. Yo. This guy is heavy. Want to see? Check it out. He is kind of. So he has the face only a mother could love. Yeah, definitely. It would be pretty cool if you could like make it so they spread, like if he's flying or something. I think you can, but I'm not exactly sure how. Also, uh, like a defectiveness, like since it's attached to his wrist, you can't move his wrist. I think it's designed like that. Like it says, it has some articulation. It doesn't have too much articulation, but just the details on them are pretty sick. It makes it worth it. Yeah, definitely. The jeans have a little texture to it. The hair on his chest. It'd be nice if it was some kind of fur. Um, his face is pretty cool. Um, the uh, one of the problems I do see with this McFarlane figures, which I'm guessing is you know a nitpick, but um, I think the, the painting tea, is fun. Uh, yeah, you're right. Like right different here. shades that way yeah. it can look like you know shadows. The painting is a little monotone for me. Uh, I noticed that on the Killer Croc figure, a little bit on this one as well. The teeth on this one is a little bit. You know, dull. dull, it kind of matches yeah. the body. Always it's on actually like, figures, brown. like yeah. figures, you can never get it to be this like the right color True. or either the right shape. On this like one, sharp. one of the fangs is bigger than the other by a little bit, notice it? Oh, no. He's like, <laughs> he's a little buck tooth, he's not too bad. But overall, I mean, I'm just nitpicking. I love this figure, don't get me wrong. Definitely a must have. I know a lot of people got this figure as soon as it went up for pre or I saw that a lot of people got excited. Um, I was one of them. There's not that many ways to pose them actually because the, the legs are kind of weird look. The legs don't straighten out at all. They kind of look stiff like they Yes, it doesn't stiff? go past that point. So you kind of have to angle them. I mean, pose them at a, at like a, a, a certain degree. 
almost like a 45 degree angle. Who's but, feet are worse, Venom, uh, the movie designer? Oh, I think one? Venom takes a cake, but this is a close second. Remember, his toes are supposed to look like that. So for what it's worth, it's pretty good? Yeah. Your yeah. opinion. I would it. say, like, in a scale of 1 to 10, I'll probably give it a 6. I'm not really the biggest fan of, like, bulky, bigger figures. I I don't really, like, I don't like, oh, big, big figure, big figure. I don't really care if it's the size. I just like it if it's detailed, painting is good, modeling is good. Mm -hmm. As long as it just looks cool, then I'm mm -hmm. okay with it. But this is still a pretty cool figure. This is pretty cool to have. But also, you do want it to be, like, up to scale. Like, maybe one could be bigger than the other. I could see people like that. But, like, other than that, I don't really care as long as it looks good. But, yeah, this is a pretty good figure. It's pretty good looking, pretty good feeling. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. I honestly, I like it a lot. Uh, compared to some of the other Mark Farling figures that I have, uh, I find that it has a little bit more detail. Um, and that's saying a lot because uh, McFarlane toys already have a lot of detail. Of course, it's not a perfect figure. It um, it does have its tiny flaws, but um, I like the size. I like the details that it does have. I like most of the points of articulation. Some of them are kind of odd. And I like the paint job, even though it could use a lot more shading, like Hazen said. Like when he draws, he does a lot of shading. And it just brings the, the figure more to life. You know, in the future, maybe, I might repaint it. But um, for now, I'll leave it like this. Because I think, as is, it's a really good figure. It does have its um, faults here and there. But which almost every figure has. I would give this an 8 out of 10. And the reason I give this figure an 8 out of 10 is because it is big. Because I don't like the little tiny figures. I've had the smaller ones. And yes... Some of them do have a little bit more uh, detail, rarely, but okay, sometimes. But I like bigger figures because lend themselves more for displays. It, it has more of a presence on a, in a case. It's going to look more menacing. It's going to stick out. Definitely a good addition to your collection. I'm definitely going to display them among my other uh, big figures like Killer Croc. And I think I have, what else? I have a Joker. Well, he's not that big. But a few other figures that I could put next to it. That I can make it look pretty cool. So overall, Kaysen, what do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty Maybe not your cup of tea, right? But yeah. you can respect the the, the hustle, the right? The effort that they yeah, put right? into this figure, yeah. Yeah, Kaysen is not that big of a fan of Batman or DC. He does like them, but he's not like a huge fan. I am a bit more of a fan of DC and Marvel. I've always loved Man Bat, especially in the cartoons. I just know that I really like his design. Even in the in the comic books and in the cartoons, they've always done a really good job at making him look pretty cool, uh, with some exceptions. But generally, he's pretty cool. And obviously, I don't think we will ever see this in a live-action film because obviously it would be kind of weird bringing this to life. But in but a figure... Knows? Yeah, who knows? You never know. They might be able to do it with CGI one day. But in a figure, in a toy, I think this is... Just, Definitely a, win, a pickup. Like a win. Yeah, definitely a pickup. Definitely a win. You guys can make up your own mind. I wanted to do this unboxing so you guys could see it. Definitely recommend it. Like, yeah, definitely. If you're looking for like a big hairy yeah. monster. They're still um, on sale. They're still out in the wild. You might still be able to pick them up for a while. But I think this figure is probably going to fly off the shelf. And it's going to be one of those figures like Killer Croc, uh, like I said. Fly off the shelf. Yeah, no pun intended. But eventually, I think it's going to be hard to find. So snag one up. It's about 40 bucks. Uh, you can still find it at GameStop, I think, and I've seen it, I think, at uh, Target, I, I want to say. You can still find them, point is. Even on McFarlane.com, I think you can still pick it up. But um, I would say, yes, this is a really good action figure. I just want to share this with you guys because, obviously, I love unboxing these toys. Uh, I'm a toy collector, a big kid at heart, and I'm glad that you guys were able to join us. So if you don't want to say anything else, Kitten, you want to add on anything? No. Nope. Anything at all? Nah. You sure? You want to tell me your darkest secrets, your fears? You want to thank you once again. We just shared our peace of mind with you guys. If you guys like this video, if you guys enjoyed these madass figures, go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you want to share it, I'm not going to stop you. And with that being said, we are out. This is Omar, a.k.a. Venomar. This, this is, is Kaysen, a.k.a. Checha. And uh, with, oh, somebody beat me to it. I think that was Camden. We are pizza owl. Pizza owl. Yeah, owl. Wanna come, Camden? Wanna say hi? Here comes 
Camden barely through the setup. Weeper, ah. class that weeper. And all right, guys. So thank you once again. Like I said, love this figure. You guys want to pick it up? Go ahead. And I think that's all we have to say, right, guys? Yeah. So pizza out. out. Pizza out. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Pizza bye -bye. out. Bye bye. Thank you. That turn it off. <laughs>